Welcome to today's class. Like I did promise in my last video that today I'm going to release a very nice challenge. Question is x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 5 plus 4 equal to y to the power of 2. What are the pairs of x and y that will satisfy this challenge here? So without much waste of time, let's go into today's challenge. But before we go into today's challenge, if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe. And when you subscribe, do well to turn on the bell notification button. All right, so let's go step by step. Okay, so here we're going to take our solution. All right. Now let's look at this carefully. We want to move this to the side of the equation. So. This will now give us here x to the power of 6 plus our s to the power of 5. This is equal to y to the power of 2, then minus 4. We can rewrite 4 as 2 to the power of 2. So here we're going to have s to the power of 6 plus s to the power of 5. This is equal to y to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2. Why are we doing this? Because we want to make use of difference of 2 squared, right? Okay. Now, we can factor out x to the power of 5 here on the left-hand side. They apply the difference of 2 squared. We all know the difference of 2 squared, which says that if you have your a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2, this is equal to a plus b, then close bracket, bracket a minus b, right? Okay, so we're going to apply this to the um, left-hand side of our equation, which is this side. And meanwhile, we factor x to the power of 5 on this other side. So let's go ahead and do that. So this now implies x to the power of 5, bracket. If we use this to divide this, we are left with x, there plus. Here we'll be left with 1, there close bracket. This is equal to applying the difference of 2 square. We give us here y plus 2, bracket, bracket. Here we're going to have y minus 2. Easy. So let's look at this. On the left hand side of the equation, we discover that for sure this is going to give us even number. And here we also give us even number. Okay? So if this gives us even number and this will have even number, then let's look at this side now. If we have our x to be even. And we raise it to the power of 5, it will give us even number. But look at what we have here. If x is even number, and we add 1 to an even number, it automatically is going to give us odd number. Remember? Yeah. So um, on this side, now, like what we just established is that here we're going to have even number or true. This will give us even, this will give us even. So there's never a time whereby s to the power of 5 and s plus 1 will be equal to what we have on this side here because this is going to this if this one gives us even sorry uh, odd then this will give us even now we're going to take some cases here whereby we're going to equate x to the power of 5 to some factors here which is going to be definitely 1 then this to this even here so from here, let's take our case one. So we're going to have here case one. So in our case one, what we equate this to one. So this is going to give us x to the power of five is equal to one. Then on this other side, we're going to take our x plus one. X plus one will now be equal to everything here y plus two plus bracket bracket y minus two. Okay, so if we take the fifth root of this, this will still give us 1. So we have x is equal to 1 here. Then if we open up this, this is going to give us y squared minus 4. So this is going to give us here. Meanwhile, we have our x to be 1 here. So this is going to give us here 2 is equal to y squared then minus 4. If we move this to this, it's going to give us 6. So therefore, we're going to have y is equal to the square root of six okay so under this condition here we don't have integer values here again sorry here we are looking for the integer values please so here we have we are looking for integer values or pairs okay integer values of x and y 
that will satisfy this. So within this uh, domain here, this does not give us any integer value. So we mark this off here. Okay, so let's take this two. Let's look at our this two scenario. So we have here case two, case two. So this time around, what will equate this now to this and equate this to one? So we are having x plus plus one equal to one. So this for this side, then on this other side, we're going to have x to the power of five equal to our y plus two, close bracket, bracket y minus two. Okay, so if we move this to this, so automatically we're going to have x is equal to zero. Then here we're going to have zero equal to our y squared minus four. So from here we're going to have y is equal to plus minus two. So this is an integer value. So we're going to add, so we can now draw up results from here and here. So for this, our pair of y comma x comma y will now give us here zero there comma plus minus uh, two. So we've got an answer for this. Okay, so let's keep this guy here now and look at the next case scenario. So taking case three, so our case three, case three, okay, so in case three, we have to take s to the power of five to minus one, and also we manipulate a minus from here so that everything here will give us negative. So watch what I'm going to do here now. So we're going to have here x to the power of five is equal to minus one. Then on this other side, we're going to have our x plus one equal to bracket y plus two, the bracket, bracket two minus y. You get that? Look at what I did here. Okay? All right. So if we have this to be minus one, therefore x will now be uh, equal to minus one. So if x is minus one, yeah, so yeah, it's going to give us zero. So automatically we're going to have, if we open up this, it's going to give us minus y squared there plus four. So if we solve this, this is going to give us y is equal to plus minus two. So we have integer solution from here again. So the pair of x we're going to have here, pair of x no, y we're going to have from here, this automatically will give us here bracket minus one, then comma plus minus two. So we've gotten another integer value for our x and y again. All right, now we just consider this now. So we want to consider x plus one equal to minus one and x to the power of five equal to this. So we take that as our case four. So our case four, we're going to have our x plus one equal to minus one. And this other side, we're going to have s to the power of five equal to bracket y plus two, bracket, bracket two minus y. Okay, then we have here, send this to this side, so we're going to give our x is equal to minus two. So, so long we have our s to be minus 2 here, then we put minus 2 in here. So if we have here to be minus 2 or to the power of 5, okay, that will give us minus 36, right? So this is equal to, and again, if we work out this, this is going to give us minus y squared. Uh, let me write this way, please. This y squared, then plus our 4. So if we take this to the power of 5, that will give us minus. Okay, so. Let's continue on this side of the board. So from here, we're going to have this to be minus 32. This is equal to, here we have our minus y to the power of 2 the plus our 4. Okay, send this to this other side will give us minus 32 minus 4 equals to minus y to the power of 2. So we have minus 36 is equals to minus y squared. So this, this list, so we have our y is equals to the square root of 36 for our plus minus of it here. Yeah? So we're going to have y is equal to our plus minus six. Okay, now, so we have another pairs of our expression for x and our y here. So this will now give us here 
Therefore, our s uh, comma y for keys uh, four will now be equal to bracket minus two comma plus minus six. Right. So we've gotten this again for our x comma y. So let's look at the um, three cases that actually fit or that satisfy our original equation, which are um, this very one. So we have this, we have this, and then we have this. So let's go ahead and bring out all the integer pairs of x and y that satisfy this original equation. So we can now say therefore our x comma our y will now be equal to we have here the first one we have x zero we have um, plus two then the next one we have x zero again we have minus two then the next one we have bracket um, x minus one then we have a plus two plus bracket then we have uh, the next one, the same minus one, we have minus two, and the next one we have our x minus two, then we have plus six, then the next one we have x minus two, we have minus six. So these are the pairs of integers, okay, that will satisfy or that satisfy our original equation vex so if you put all these pairs one two three four five six pairs into our original equation it will satisfy the original equation okay so if you learn something from this simple video give the video a thumbs up then if you've not subscribed again do not forget to subscribe I know you've been watching me for some time now and you've refused to subscribe. Why? Are we quarreling? No. Okay, so subscribe. That is one of the ways you encourage us, okay? And we are pledged to uh, give nothing but the best. All right, thanks for being there all the time. Again, this is Online Mouse TV and Every Magic's Animal, and he loves you so much. Bye for the now.